Hey guys, look what I got. That's right, I got the FMS Futura 64 millimeter sport jet. In this video, we're gonna unbox it. We're gonna take a look at all the parts and pieces. And then at the end, we're gonna wrap things up with our pros and cons. This is what it looks like inside the box. This is what it looks like outside of the box. Here are all the parts and pieces. As you can see right there in the middle, we've got suspension on the landing gear, beautiful nose cone, which is a snap-on design. I'll show you the fuse here shortly. Either that or run that as B-roll. And of course, this color combo looks amazing on the wings, the horizontal stab, and the vertical stab. Oh yeah, all right guys, this is supposed to be a very quick an easy installation, build, assembly, whatever you want to call it. So I am going to do that and we are going to come back and I'm going to tell you all about it. Okay, I'm happy to report that this assembly, build, whatever you want to call it, is very quick and easy. Uh, the wing design is really handy. Now it doesn't have like the quick connects, but it's got almost the next best thing. It's got some clips where you clip the wires in. You don't have to run them up the fuselage. They're already set with some wires running inside the plane. So connecting the receiver was really easy. That is awesome. The landing gear just snaps in nice and easy. The nose gear has some grub screws, so those are tightened just a little bit. On either side, want to make sure you get both sides. Bam, it's good to go. And it also has a ton of presence for a 64 millimeter EDF jet. Here we go with the control surfaces movement. We've got full throws and I am digging it. I did have to reverse the ailerons to make those go the right direction. Here we've got the flaps. Now the flaps, I think I've got to do a little bit of adjusting on the linkages to make it go up as high as I need it to. I tried to reverse it still about the same amount of throw so I just need to extend the linkages just a little bit but man this jet looks so good it is huge for 63 excuse me 64 millimeter EDF jet and we're going to do a comparison coming up here pretty quick to my arrows F86 but first we are going to do a couple things with the thrust here we go Oh yeah, that sounds and feels awesome. Let's do it from another angle where you can see the thrust in action. Wow, that sounds good. Holy moly. You may or may not know, but this EDF jet it's got reverse thrust and I'm going to show a little look at the receiver and how I've got things plugged in on the screen right now. And right now we're going to, we're going to rev up the reverse thrust on the surface, the foam, it's not going to back up, but that's okay. It'll at least give you an idea. Yeah, that just knocked the manual off of the bed. That is cool. Here's a good look from above comparing these two. I love my F86 and I have a feeling that I'm definitely gonna love this new Futura too. Here's a look from this angle. We're gonna do a quick pros and cons now. As far as the pros go, this is a beautiful scheme. It has reverse thrust. It's an easy build and setup. The wing design is very easy to install, especially for this class of jet. It's not quite like the Rafale, but it's the next best thing, especially for this class. The landing gear has suspension. Remarkable for this class and this price point. 
It also has a ton of presence for a 64 millimeter EDF jet. This thing's way bigger than I expected in a good way. The battery bay is very spacious, lots of room to work, and the hatch snaps on as well as the nose cone. That just snaps right on. As far as the cons go, and this is just me being nitpicky, I'm known for that, but I prefer not to have to adjust the linkage of the flaps to make it nice and level. Again, I'm nitpicky. Minor con, and I gotta call something out because this thing is pretty much perfect otherwise. With all that being said, like, comment, and subscribe, and GB Linden, out.